I think the hydrocoils have given me a greater sense of security in the way that I do coil embolization. My biggest fear when I used to do pushable coils uh, in patient's anatomy was the idea of sending that somewhere where it didn't belong and not having control of the coil. If you think about it, if you take a coil and you put it out into a given anatomy and it's a pushable coil only, it will do whatever it wants to do. There is always the potential for what they call recoil or pushback that will push your catheter that's delivering that coil back into the anatomy where you don't want it to be. And it doesn't give you the ability to essentially massage or re-manipulate the coil to let it gain the conformation you want it to to fill a given space. With the hydrogel coils, they are a lot more manipulatable. They are uh, a lot more compliant to what I need them to do. And with the control release coil, I can really go out there with confidence that it's not going to be sent somewhere where I don't want it to be. I can put it out in the anatomy, put it up against a given wall or in a given location, and let it take the confirmation I need it to to fill that space, knowing that 20 minutes later when that hydrogel expands, it's going to fill that space and do that successfully. And I've looked at that in the context, especially of patients in emergent situations, case in point, a ruptured aneurysm. When I have had to, in an outlying hospital, use a coil that is a pushable coil, I've put them out there into a, uh, an internal iliac vessel in an effort to try and land my endograft out into an external. And I've had at least two patients come back with delayed type 2 endoleaks coming up out of that coiled portion. I don't get that kind of problem when I use a hydrogel coil. I, I know that when I put it out there, I get a decent packing. That hydrogel fills that space. It's very prothrombotic. I get a durable result that's going to last, and it's going to, it's going to show up on that follow-on CT scan. And I've been very, very gratified by that.